before you guys go to your seats, I just want to share something briefly uh, from my heart to yours. Uh, if you guys remember back in November, around November or December, uh, I stood in front of you guys and told you that I'd be going to Folsom Prison, uh, not as an inmate, uh, but to go and preach the gospel. I just want to add some clarity there. Uh, and for me, that was a huge step because I never, ever in my life wanted to go uh, to prison, not even to speak. I'm terrified of doing that. Uh, and so there's a picture that's going to come up on the screen. Just last night, I got to go uh, with my father and share uh, with the prisoners who were there at Folsom Prison. A wonderful, wonderful, wonderful experience. A part of my fear behind going was that I knew about jail culture and was afraid that when I got there, somebody might shank me. What happens if there's a prison riot? Uh, what happens if I get stuck in there? What if the power goes out and I got to spend the night in Folsom Prison? All of these fears entered into my mind. I tried to talk myself out of it, uh, but I waited for my dad to come in town so I could go with him <laughs> so he could protect me. Uh, but what I found out while I was there was that every person that's in that prison is a person that's made in the image of God. And many of them that I met have done some horrible and often awful things. That does not make them any less human. And it means that they're a person who needs the grace of God and God has given them that grace. Every time I had a conversation with the guy, it reminded me that they are human beings. When I left my comforts of my home and I went into the prison, I was able to come close to them. Because of my proximity, I saw that they were human. And I had a number of things that I learned last night, but a couple, one of them specifically is this, that we need to see one another as human beings beings that have been made in the image of God. So often in our world today, we see others as objects. We slap a label on them and we dump them. We put a label from a political party, we put a label on them in terms of their race, we put a label on them in terms of their socioeconomic status, and we put a label on them, we just dump them. For me, they're just prisoners. I don't need anything to do with them, but I realize they are human beings. What this world needs is for us to see one another as human beings beings. In the parking lot, that person that's trying to get out is a human being with hopes and dreams and aspirations. Guys, this week there's been a number of things that have happened in our country that show that we got to see each other as humans. Down in Southern California, there are a few people who were shot and killed in a couple of mass shootings. Why? Because the killers didn't see those individuals as human beings. Over in Memphis, there is uh, a young man by the name of Tyree that was beaten brutally by the police. I don't know if you guys saw that video or not. Brutal, brutal, brutal. And I think in that moment, they just forgot that he was a human being. So I'm going to be very, 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 very vulnerable here. Is that okay? Can I, can I do that? Very vulnerable. Uh, I'm 38 years old. Grew up in Atlanta, Georgia. It wasn't until I was 30 years old that I had any meaningful, significant relationships with anybody who was not black. 30 years. God impressed something on my heart. Man, you got to do something about this. And I got to know people, different backgrounds and races, and somehow ended up here in California. <laughs> and y'all know what I've learned? That we are all human. 2020, when uh, things happened with George Floyd, uh, hostile and hot and difficult time. And um, there are some officers at our church that I got to know very well. Officer Dave Smith, uh, Officer Isaiah Chobanoff. And uh, they became my friends, and I realized that those dudes are human beings. So this is my prayer for our church and for our country is that we see each other as human. That we wouldn't see people as objects. That we wouldn't be quick to figure out how we're supposed to feel about something. Listen, when somebody dies, it is a tragedy. Because they are human beings. So thanks for letting me take a moment this morning to share that with you all. Let's pray together. Father, I thank you for this church, for the people who make up this wonderful body of believers. Thank you for 
allowing me to be their pastor. Father, I pray for each of us that whatever people we put a label on, that we would see them as humans, that you gave your son to die for. Lord, help us to see everyone in that way, to see the world as you see the world so that we can transform the world. Lord, I pray that as a community that we'd be able to be salt and light, that we shine light in dark places, that we wouldn't be worried about winning arguments and making points, but we'd be worried about making relationships with people so they can become to know the love and grace of Jesus Christ. Father, I pray that you would be with us through this service, that you would speak through us through your word in Proverbs. And Lord, if you can do anything today, we pray that the 49ers would beat the Philadelphia Eagles. We pray that in Jesus' name, amen, amen. Go ahead, take your seat, greet somebody next to you, let them know that you're glad they're here.